Now in this example, we've got to solve what is a quadratic inequality. And first of all, what we need to do is expand this bracket. So therefore we're going to get x times x, which is x squared, and x times minus four, which is minus four x. And this is going to be greater than 12. Being a quadratic inequality, we need to subtract 12 from both sides, make it have a zero here. So that's going to be x squared minus 4x minus 12 is greater than zero. And at this stage, I'd want to factorize it. So we're going to have two brackets. Okay, and then we've got the greater than zero there. And so what it's going to have to be is an x and an x and then a minus six and a plus two. And if you check that out, you will see that you've got your minus six x plus two x, which gives minus four x, and minus six times plus two is the minus 12. Now at this stage, don't make the common mistake of saying x minus six is greater than zero or x plus two is greater than zero. Now what you've got to do is find the critical value. So I'm going to write down here what those critical values are. These are the values that make this equal to zero. In other words, they are when x minus six equals zero or x plus two equals zero, leading to those critical values being x equals six or x equals minus two. And how do we use these critical values? Well, what we do is we sketch a graph. Doesn't have to be accurate as such, but just a sketch showing these critical values. Points where if we draw the graph of y equals x minus six multiplied by x plus two, what we have up here, if we sketch this graph, we know that y will equal zero when x is six and minus two. So we can mark those points on here. We'll say that's the point where x is minus two, and this is the point where x is six. And what we've got is x squared, a positive quadratic, positive parabola in other words. So that's going to be a graph that's going to look something like this, crossing the y-axis down here, going below there, and then back up again. Now, what we want, this is where this value, which we've called y, is greater than zero. y is greater than zero when it's above the x-axis, and that's going to be for values of x on this stretch of the curve, that is for values of x greater than six, and also on this stretch of the curve for values of x less than minus two. So we can see then they are the solutions to our equation or our inequality as I should say. So what we have got here is that I'm gonna say from the graph, okay, we've got what is called two disjoint sets. So we write that as x is less than minus two, or, okay, or rather than and, x is greater than six. Okay, there's your solution. So if you'd like to see more videos on this, you can always go on my website and look for quadratic inequalities. That brings us to the end of this particular part of the question.